Hi, you guys and girls. How you all doing? My name's Kirsty, or Double FTK is what I'm generally known as on YouTube. And for any of you guys who are a little bit curious, that actually stands for fragging from the kitchen, which is just my cute little attempt at humour at sort of turning around some of those things that are often said to me in game. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. The typical go back to the kitchen, make me a sandwich, and all of that stuff that guys think they're so original when they're actually saying, but I've got to say I have heard it a few times before. Anyway though guys, before I go any further, I really need to say a huge thank you to SK and all of you awesome subscribers just for giving me this opportunity to post on his channel. I've got to say, when someone like Scrub Killer really sends you a message and asks you if you'd like to post on his channel, it's not the sort of thing you refuse, mainly for the fact that he is such an awesome, humble, down-to-earth sort of guy, but also for the fact that I love that he's just a rusher, and that he's just like me. That's something you guys are going to notice from all of my gameplays. I'm a little bit too rush happy, and I honestly wouldn't change it. At the end of the day, I'm not as concerned about high scores and playing passive. I'd much rather just run in there and see how many guys I can take down with me. And that is really what I try and promote on my channel. And just bear with me guys, it's definitely a little bit strange to post on someone else's channel. And for some of you guys who don't have YouTube channels, I can sort of liken it to you're dating a new person and you're off at their family's house. And you know, you're trying to be on your best behavior. You're not really sure what's going to fly and what's not going to fly. And I've got to admit, that is something I do do on my channel a lot, which is really talk about stories and real life experiences. I do really enjoy telling a good story. I have had a pretty full on life, I must admit, which of course is something that I do really like to share with the subscribers. And of course I do talk about the gameplay and give tips and all of that good stuff because look, let's face it, a lot of people are here just for the sake of Call of Duty and to actually improve their game. So that is something I do try and mix up in the middle of all the real life stories and all that funny stuff. I do of course do the occasional vlogs and face cams and things like that. But I've got to admit guys, I don't really like to play the whole girl gamer card. Which is probably pretty obvious just based on the fact I'm one of the few females on YouTube who doesn't really feel the need to have miss or girl or anything like that in their channel name. Although I've got to admit, I could probably have a couple of hundred more, well maybe a few thousand times more subscribers if I actually was one of those sort of girls. But I've got to admit guys, I really can't do YouTube and not stay true to myself. And I really think that being one of those sort of, oh my god, I'm a girl gamer, look at me. All that's really going to do is attract 12 year old boys. And I've got to say, being a woman who is of legal age, uh, 12 year old boys, I oh know, that's our jailbait. Anyway guys, I do just need to say, just in case you do think I do sound a little bit weird, which is quite a common thing, I'm actually from Australia, although I'm sure a lot of you guys may have already picked that already, but for you guys that haven't, that is okay, I do hear it quite often, that maybe I'm Canadian or I'm some sort of Down Syndrome backward Brit, but that's okay. And just because I do know that the Australian accent is pretty lazy, we do like to say things with a pretty relaxed sort of lip. We do have a lot of slang for a lot of things, but all around it's a pretty amazing country to live in. I really can't complain. I absolutely love Australia. Our laid back attitude, our beautiful environment, our weather, our reefs, our beaches. I really can't complain. And if sounding like a British girl with Down syndrome, is sort of the only drawback from being from Australia. Well, I think I'm okay with that too. Anyway though guys, I will just get onto this gameplay a little bit quickly just because it is pretty obvious that I just started dying there. And that's okay. This is actually one of my very first 100 plus games. It's a very old gameplay, but I don't know, it's still one of my favorites just because of the amount of sort of fast paced gameplay, particularly at the start. Like I've already said, I'm not that concerned about the numbers. I am more concerned about actually giving you guys exciting gameplays. And if that's the sort of thing you guys are into, then definitely come and check out my channel. Some of the other things that you guys are going to find are a couple of new series. One is actually going to be a bit of a commentator showdown. And that would be really awesome for some of you guys who have actually got quite small YouTube channels. I just want to give some of the guys who are just starting out a little bit of a hand to actually gain a little bit more exposure and a bit more experience with a wider audience. 
So if that sounds like you and you're just getting started on YouTube, then definitely come and check it out. It should be heaps of fun and hopefully it should be an awesome experience for everyone involved because I do know just how hard it is to start a YouTube channel, particularly these days when there's so many other people posting content. So I do really like to try and give back to the community and particularly my subscribers as much as possible because I do really appreciate all the support that I've had in the time that I've actually been posting videos. I do have to say though guys, and I don't mean to say this in any mean, rude way or anything like that, but I've definitely given a lot of shout outs and really helped out a lot of very small channels and I never expect anything in return. That's just the sort of person I am. Like I said, I am a very muddly type of person. So when Scrub Killer actually contacted me, it really felt so amazing. It was so nice to actually see some of that karma come back to me, so to speak. Anyway guys, gameplay's wrapping up. I need to once again say a big thank you to Matty J. I truly am so thankful for this awesome opportunity and I'm sure he'd really appreciate you guys dropping a like on this video for him. Peace out.